All right, guys, I am now totally not in Texas at all, but I am in Mexico for something completely unrelated, but there are still things to cover in terms of the GTX 1080 and GTX 1070, so we'll be doing that right now. Intel Skull Canyon NUC features a 6th generation Core i7 processor and Thunderbolt 3. Learn more at the link in the video description. This video's focus will be new features that were announced alongside Pascal in that keynote. They got a little bit overshadowed by the speed and specs of the 1080 and 1070, but they are awesome nonetheless. We will start with Ansel, which is like an amazing screenshot software. Essentially, I know I might have lost you there with screenshot, but seriously, it's cool. The first feature within Ansel that I want to point out is super resolution, and it allows you to take screenshots up to a resolution of 61,440 by 34,560, or 32 times the maximum resolution of your screen. Holy crap. Next up is EXR Capture, which gives you the highest color spectrum of HDR images, which is fantastic for stuff like changing the lighting in a scene. Then you have Free Camera, which allows you to change your perspective drastically. You can look around corners, you can look up from the ground, something you can't normally do. You can look up from way up in the sky, another thing you can't normally do, whatever you want. You have free roam of your camera. Then we have Post Processing Filters, which allows you to basically put those like classic Instagram filters on top of pictures. So Hopefully no one ever murders their photos with these and we can just ignore them and move on. And last we noted here but not least is 360 degree captures. So you can essentially take an image that could be viewed in VR and then actually use NVIDIA's VR viewer in order to view it on something like your phone if you have something like a Google Cardboard or whatever. So you could take a 360 photo of a particularly epic scene, share it with your friends and let them enjoy it as well. This does have to be enabled by the developer. This won't just be in every single game that you play on a Pascal graphics card, but there are a number of games on the lineup already, including The Division, The Witness, Lawbreakers, Witcher 3, Paragon, No Man's Sky, and Unreal Tournament. Next up, we have Simultaneous Multi-Projection. This solves a number of problems, but first off, I'm going to give you a scenario. You're gaming in a surround multi-monitor setup. Your monitors on the outside look skewed. Things don't line up with your main monitor in the middle. If you see a crack on the floor, it kind of jags off on the spare monitor, and things are skewed and weird. It sucks. It's not really a great gaming experience. One example of what can be done with simultaneous multi-projection is perspective correction. So that allows you to fix the skew that happens on those side monitors and fix the alignment issues with your main monitor because you have them at different angles and that causes issues. There were massive improvements in this field that were shown off in the live stream and they make this scenario go from not very usable to actually quite usable in my opinion, which is great because multi-monitor gaming has been kind of weird for a long time. Another thing that simultaneous multi-projection does is massively, massively help VR performance, but how it necessarily does these things is still a little hazy and under NDA, so we'll hopefully hear more about them in the future. And last but not least is NVIDIA VR Works. Now I know VR Works isn't new at all, but NVIDIA VR Works audio is. It uses Pascal generation GPUs to ray trace sound waves in real time, claiming to realistically simulate reflections and echoes in order to help locate things using only sound, which should dramatically increase your immersion levels. This level of precision and accuracy in audio could enable some really cool things. I hope that they release the Star Wars demo where Luke fights the training droid with a lightsaber. That would be a lot of fun. And while there's loads of work still to be done in terms of VR immersion, this should hopefully add quite a few steps in terms of the audio department, which is great. Crunchyroll is a site created by anime fans for anime fans. They have the most recent episodes straight from Japan of shows like Digimon Adventure Try and Active Raid. They also have a large collection of the most popular anime series like Mobile Suit, Gundam, Iron-Blooded Orphans, and The Asterisk War. And all of this content on their site is professionally subtitled. So head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus and you can sign up for a 30-day free premium trial. The completely ad-free experience is in 1080p and can be streamed anywhere on any device at any time. Time, including stuff like your phone, tablet, gaming console, PC, whatever you want. You can continue your premium membership to Crunchyroll for only $6.95 per month. So again, head over to crunchyroll.com Linus and check them out. 
All right, guys, hopefully you liked my top three. Let me know in the comments down below or on Twitter at Luke underscore LAFR. Don't forget to like, dislike, subscribe, all those kind of fun things. I almost knocked over the graphics card. That was very scary. Use our Amazon affiliate code to buy stuff like, you know, a 1080 if you decide to get one of those or a 1070, which I expect a lot more of you will decide to get, but we'll see. Maybe you hate wait for a GP100. That could be a thing. Yeah. Anyways, buy a shirt. Description down below. And yeah. I'll see you next time.